So I have a bit of a problem. Surprise, surprise. Not really for me. Hmm. So it is Wednesday. And my problem is I will not be able to finish the nightmare for Friday for the video. Which will be the 28th. The reason why is because I'm having to restart because I did a bad thing and I looked at it and I said, oh, this is not what I thought it was originally when I was first looking at it. So that was my fault. So, because I literally got this far with it. So I had to do was the marker and then I just got the pencil and I was done. But then I looked, I looked at this, I looked at the head and I looked at here and I said, oh, hell no. So I said, I did not see that the first time. It actually looks kind of awful because the head's way too small. So I didn't see it the first time. So now I saw it and I was like, it's disgusting. So now, this is a second attempt. So this is normal with these types of drawings. Is I normally do take between two to four tries. Because normally it's like the second try, it looks great. Because it's like I get the first try out of my system. And then I make it the second try and it looks fine. And I'm like, what the hell? That's where we're at. So honestly, it already looks a lot better. I'm gonna have to relook at it again, but I think everything is actually like the way I prefer it to be, like proportional. At least with the head and the body, because I made the head a lot bigger. So he looks a lot better. I'll need to go back and like fix some parts. Again, whenever I go back to actually like, drawing. But it looks better. So at least this way I have a head start for next week's video, which will be the July 5th, I think. So that's a plus. Um, because I need to work on this some more tomorrow if I can, or tonight, we'll see. And just start working on it to get ahead. Um, so instead, what my plan is, so I can actually put up this, because I don't need it anymore, for now, is I bought this T-Rex painting thing from a Dollar Tree a long time ago, and I've never done anything with it, and I was clearing out my shelf when I saw it, and I said, oh, I can do that because now I'm kind of I'm actually kind of in the mood to paint is the thing but it's like I have all this other drawing stuff I need to get done first so I figured so it's this so it's nothing super difficult it's pretty simple and I'm like I could probably get this done between today and tomorrow and get it ready to go for Friday um because now I have an appointment on Friday so it's uh around lunchtime which is fine so I need to get it done by then um, so that's what the plan is. And then I also decided, decided that for work, because like the weekend specifically, because I'm there for 12 hours, I'm going to start bringing some drawing stuff to do versus like just readings. And that way the reading I can save for Monday and Tuesday when there's a lot more people there. So that way I'm like, I won't get nearly in as much trouble because I read anyway, but at least Saturdays I can draw like Saturdays and Sundays I can sit there and I can actually draw and do something productive because I made a list I this is stuff I want to look into but this whole list is stuff that I need to complete and or start to get ahead and just to get done because it's like I keep thinking of things that I want to do and it's a lot so because it's like I gotta start a new comic page I need to start another minis but it's my mythical creature set and I have no idea what I'm doing for them. I actually have an idea but I actually got to plan it out so it actually might become a little, little bit funny. I gotta start planning the next comic page which I could probably do that maybe like Friday or something which that won't take like I kind of know what I want to do for the first page so we'll kind of do that and then because it's called crew is what it is and I'm actually this story is actually hopefully will be kind of interesting because it's actually kind of related to what I would like to do so we'll see, because that's actually the whole point of it, but we'll see what happens. Obviously, I have mutations mixed in there, because what else would I not be doing? Because mutations are part of my thing. But, um, and there's also some other, like, art I want to do. Like, I also want to try and do challenges again, so I gotta start planning out challenges. Like, I'm not gonna follow the prompts that people have. I'm gonna try and do my own thing with like making like little stories or something. So like Smogist, I have my own dragon characters. I'm like, I could just make my own dragons and just do it with the um, my little cutie style as what I'm thinking. Um, Cause I have in my writer series, I have four plus Jojo. Uh, so I'm like, well, Jojo's in every story, but it's like, I have five dragons that I can make a story. Technically, technically, actually technically, 
I have 20 dragons because Jojo is made up of... No. False. I have 19 dragons. <laughs> no. It's 20. It's I can't math. It's 20. Because there are 16 elements and Jojo is made up of all 16 elements. So there are technically... I have 20 dragons, but I'm not going to do them all individually like that. Maybe I will. We'll see. Um... Because I think October is coming up, and I'm like, maybe I could do something individually with my October dragons and just do that with the elements starting off and then get the rest of the dragons involved somehow. I actually have other, I have two other dragon characters, but we haven't gotten to that point yet, so I'll probably introduce them too. So I'm like, I have things that I can do, but I also want to do like Cubember, so I gotta figure that out. I have no idea what I'm doing for that. And then like the 12 days of Christmas. Which I kind of have an idea of what I could do. So it'll be a little bit different than what I normally do. So we'll see how that works because I have no idea. Um, that's where we're at. So that's the whole plan now. Because, yeah. yeah, it's just a lot. But I'm probably going to finish the Dragon Ults probably over the weekend. I need to finish this and get stuff started for that one. Um, but we'll see. So that's the whole plan. But I figured while I have you. Because you have no choice if you're watching this. I'm going to go ahead and pick out the colors for him because I'm thinking, well, I guess I'll show you. So I'm going to pull out pink colors. Um, gouache. I might actually use gouache for this. I don't know yet. I know I'll probably use pencil, but I don't know about the gouache. So what I'm thinking for color wise is, I don't want to pull this whole thing out, but probably, I don't know where the thing is. So probably the red is what I had in mind. And now I want to do green for the main color. Yellow and brown. So I got yellow, brown. Um, and then orange. So, because I thought that would be like a nice little color combo. But, so the green, brown, and yellow will be his main colors. And then orange and red will kind of be on the around it and so yeah so we'll have brown yellow red orange i don't know what the colors are green yellow and brown here and then probably around it will be red and orange this actually might be red his name so probably a little foot pinch red all the background will be orange and then we'll fill on back here like brown and like some other stuff I think is what I'm going to do. So I'm like, I don't think it'll be too long. I might not even use gouache for this, honestly. So we'll see. But I should be able to get him done because he's not, like, that's my hand. So he's not super big. So I'm like, I should be okay. I have enough paint brushes and stuff to get through it. So hopefully he'll be cute. But we'll see. But while I am painting, I'm going to be watching some Sonic because why not? I have, I've been starting those, so I'm just going to watch more and go from there. And then maybe if I'm done with him, we'll move on to drawing on the Nightmare again. But I kind of want to break from the Nightmare since I wasted time on it, which isn't surprising. But that means maybe the second time will be a lot better. And coloring-wise should be faster. Because I already know what I'm doing. I have, a, I have all the colors picked out. But... Yeah, we're gonna just go from there and see what happens, but hopefully I'll have something to show you. But again, this will be, you know, in the past, technically. So, if you've seen the video, you've already seen it, but we'll, we'll come back if I have any updates for anything. Alright, so it is Monday now, and let me just show you a couple things I kind of did over the weekend. So one of them was I actually finished my closet. So it looks a little bit better now, kind of, like that's just diamond paintings which are already there. I found this, it's, I forgot I bought this. It's a crystal kit, and it's got Stegosaurus on it, so eventually I'm going to turn that into a little project. And I'll let you guys watch, because I don't know what I'm doing with that. Um, these are just old drawings, clothes. This thing is actually completely filled with Legos that are broken. Because they all fell from display, so I kind of had to put them back as best I could in the same bags with the correct set, but it didn't work. So if I ever put them all back together again, if I ever have enough, like, shelving space, I would have to lay out all the Legos in individual piles and do it that way. Because it's 
because I'll probably be missing one piece in one set and it's a whole another set and I'm like I don't want to deal with that so I have this green bin with some stuff cleared out there were canvases which are on the other side of the room which I'll show you but this is just extra like dino stuff I want to eventually hang up it's like a light and like two stegosaurus boards that's for my recycle then I have a bag bin that is filled with papers I have two bins over here that are graduation items from college and high school but i'm not gonna <laughs> we don't need to look at that but in that bottom bin i had a bunch of like packaging stuff which i put down here in the ottoman now um because i want to start my business so i actually bought some stuff originally thinking i was going to but it just didn't end up happening at that time so i'm i've got a head start like i have some um like i have a thermal printer and i have some uh thermal paper and everything i have a couple of rigid mailers so I, I have a start. There's a lot of things I still need to get, but we've at least started. So some of the things that I pulled from the closet, one of them, this is all just drawings. Like it's all in like canvas, like none of it's painting. It's all just pure like marker pencil. So this is one of them. So like all these eventually I would like to actually um, paint over and like black and just do it again. So here's a stegosaurus that I just painted over green. Again, we'll probably paint all these black and um, do it that way. Here's a Triceratops. We have a Stegosaurus because I think my brother got, got me one for Christmas one year or something. But here's this drawing. Whenever I actually go to paint these, I'll give it like a better look. But this is just a quick peek. So here we have a Brachiosaur. Dinosaurs. I mean, these were all done like two years ago, which I was like, oh. I didn't realize it had been that long. So this is a dragon. So there's his head. And the tail and the wings. So because this is like a big canvas, so I actually have the double. So I did a different version, which looks like that. So there's the head. So it goes like this. So I wouldn't mind trying to do something like this again. I was just trying to keep it to like the colors I used. So I probably would stick to like my four or something. And these are a bunch of little ones. If I can pull this out or not. What? There we go. Okay. So I finished my little Rex painting. There's mixed feelings. The video is up if you want to go watch him. But I'm going to eventually paint over this too. Here's another old one. This is actually a rendition of a drawing. An older drawing I've even done. And there's this, which is the same thing. So then I have little hedgehogs in here. Because I had these four small canvases left. Because it came, I think, a six-pack. So I decided to do my little hedgehogs in my character's colors. So we have, you know, winter. Then we have fall. Summer. And spring, a.k.a. the four seasons. And then I have more canvas here. <laughs> so and there's a bunch of ones under here, too, that I bought from Michael's. I was painting, but I decided that I would stop and actually just do my own. So I think it'd be easier for me because of how specific I am when it comes to, like, the way I draw. Alright, but there's also some exciting news is that I actually might be getting an apartment. Because Friday we actually went and looked, my parents and I, because it's actually, like, 10 minutes from my work. So we all just went and looked at it, and I put in the application Friday, so we're still waiting to hear back. But... This is probably what it would look like. So when we saw it, it was actually like reversed. So it was the door and then it was the living room, the kitchen, the bed and the bathroom and stuff. And then this was connected to the bedroom. So it was on this side. So it'll be something like this. I don't know for sure. So this means classic is one with carpet and then partial is just one with hardwood. I said I'll go with the classic because I don't have plan on having any animals with me. At this place, just I just don't want to deal with it, and I, like I just don't know. Like I love dogs because we have our own, but 
I just don't think it'd be smart for me to try and do this right now, especially with still just trying to make sure that I can actually uh, afford it. So maybe in the future, I was like, if I get a bigger place or whatever, like a backyard, I'd look at getting pets. But yeah, so this is what it looks like, kind of. So we're hoping to hear back today, tomorrow, because um, then if I get it, I said I'd move in mid-July, meaning I have, would have less than two weeks to get packed up and moved. Luckily, I only have two rooms I have to pack. So, <laughs> yeah. But I need to go grab some things. Because my mom actually went and bought me some stuff as like housewarming gift. Uh, Saturday. So let me go grab those because they're in my actual bedroom. And I'll show you what she grabbed. I kind of just slammed it down. So I'm kind of hoping I did not break anything. <laughs> so, but these are some towels. This was actually ours already. So she's just giving me these. Because she's got more. It's just so I can... By less. Plus, it's more color scheme I like. These are just some clothes she got me. I gotta try them on still. Um, same with this. Also, our she's giving me a bunch of like green stuff and black because that's what I like. These are like for the little shower curtain to hang up. So she got these. So it's like a dark green cloth, and she got these which are also black. And she got me some gray ones, which is fine. And then we have some more green. So a bunch of cloths, you know, for cleaning and the bathroom and whatnot. Um, this was a little bag she found, which I thought would be good for, like, a gym bag. Just to put my water, my keys, and my phone in. Nothing crazy. I'm not 100% on what this is. It doesn't tell me. I don't, I'm assuming it's a curtain of some kind. I suppose. She didn't tell me. Um, we have some black bowls. She got me some nice plates. It's like four. I got muffin tin. Silverware holder. We have a sheet pan. Um, I want to say that both of these are for draining dishes because it comes with a dishwasher. But for one person, honestly, how much, how often would I need to run a dishwasher? Like probably never unless I had people over, which doesn't seem very likely. So then I have the paper towel holder, a mini baby pot, two little saucepans. We got some more black plates. Um, this is a cutting board. She got me some soap dishes. This was a pot that was originally mine, which that plant was in, but it got too big, so she just moved it for me. Um, I guess curtain holders too. But yeah, that is what she got me. She went to the thrift stores and said she spent like $60, so like that's actually really good. And finally, I have new art to show besides the T-Rex. So the first thing is I actually managed to finish my little hedgehogs. It'll focus. So I got them done. So I'm pretty happy with how they look. They actually look really good. I still need to cut this off and down here and color around it black and then it's good. But yeah, so I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. I think, I think they're really cute. Like I did put yellow on here to kind of give it almost like a yellowy glow. So it works. Because, I don't know, it just gives it a little bit of a different vibe. It's all, like, I don't know. I just like it. So I thought it turned out really cute. Because I'm going to do some ults with these, like, with my fire dragons that I have down here. Um, I want to do a couple of them. I don't know how many. I'll have to figure that part out. But I would like to. So I don't know if I'll go. I might wait and do it this again this weekend at work. So that's when I was working on this. Like, I actually didn't even finish this till yesterday, around 12. And I was there all day Saturday. So, I mean, you're talking, you know, 12 hours both days. So, I mean, but it was also a bunch of bullshit going on over the weekend. And it was kind of pissing me off. So, I didn't really get to finish. Another fun thing is I started to color these guys. So, I got them outlined Friday. And then I started coloring them yesterday. So, I got them. This is the marker. Is what this is. So, I just got to color these two. Um, and then I can start pencil, but they're turning out really well. I don't think my little dino can hold all how thick this is. Um, but yeah, so that's what they look like. So we got the regular version, which is here, here, and here. And then we have the cutesy version. And I got also got the regular as well. So I don't think it'll be exactly like this. Because I'm trying to keep it almost a little bit lighter. Like, I'm still going to do pencil. But it'll still look a little bit lighter than what I have here. Uh, 
especially for him because he's cutesy so I'm not trying to like go super dark but I still want to color it the way I normally color it you know also I have working on this now actually um so I got the pencil done and now I'm just doing the line art again because here's you know the before so out of Obviously, I didn't see it before, but the head's too small. Now here, it looks a lot better anyway to me. So I'm rolling with it. I've committed. So I just got to finish doing the outlines. And then this is done. And then the last little thing, which I actually started Saturday and did a tiny bit more last night. But I didn't get all the way done. I need to probably just move you out of my way. Um is these. So this is Aerith, my little dino baby. Him, the green dude. What else, what other would he be? So I'm deciding to make him and like an actual like stegosaurus. Um, he's, he needs a little more work. I think it's, this is part of my problem because I'm trying to do it for this to actually get an idea of what I want. Before I go back and sculpt. Because I want to turn him into a sculpture too. I mean he's not going to be very big. I have like a little baby circle. That I'm going to be using. Like it's literally this size. Circle. So he'll be a little smaller. So he's going to be sitting on top of it. I just did the circle to kind of make sure I could. Meet him like small enough. But I'm going to try and sculpt him. So he's a little bit more chibi like. And smaller. And also continue on with this one. Because they're both going to have flowers on them. So I'm trying to include more floral stuff. Because I know floral stuff's kind of popular. That's also why, like, when I'm doing these guys, there's floral. Obviously not with him, because he just needs flames. But it's, like, with some other stuff, I'm just trying to do a little more floral situations on certain things. Not everything. Because, like, my characters won't have florals. Honestly, I don't plan on doing that with them. Because they're a whole different situation. But at least with drawings like these, I can include some. Because I have a bunch of molds down here filled with you know shells there's a little bit of sea life i have a bunch of plant stuff i got a fence and grass so i'm gonna use those with air dry clay because right now i'm gonna sculpt these guys these two the two figures also little butterflies um but i'm gonna sculpt the both figures with bay clay and sculpt the florals why do you keep doing that it's probably because of me sculpt the florals with um air dry clay that is the plan so I'm kind of hoping it works out. Why the hell? So we'll see. That's where we're at right now. But I'm going to continue on with this. With a little bit of time I had left. Because I did work out this morning. I did cook. Well, I just finished cooking. And I have to be leaving in a little over an hour to go to work. So. But I'm just going to continue on with this. Um. I was like, where did my hedgehog go? I gotta finish them at some point. Not unless I... Hmm. Maybe I should work on them first. Because I just gotta cut and color the black. And then I can post it. If I have time. That's the only problem is if I have time. I probably do. But that's what I'll do. Is I'll finish them first. And whenever I have time I have left. I will work on him. And I'll go from there. Yay. Progress. We'll see what happens later. All right, so now it's Tuesday, the day this goes up. Haha, <laughs> it'll be going up really late because I just didn't do it yet, uh, which is fine. Like I don't really care. So a couple updates, really quick, before I end this. So I finished the little hogs. So they're here. So I just the only thing I did was I just cut it to make it smaller, and I did black. Ignore this. It was just for posting purposes, but eventually I would like to um, do digital and just do a straight black with digital so it's all even. I just do this just to post it, like it doesn't matter that much. I just like putting black on everything because I just think it looks so much nicer. Uh, I finished the Nightmare Line art, so I have to get him colored. And everything and then I actually need to start working on the next comic page that's coming out so now I'm still deciding on like exactly how do I want to start it because now I have different ideas like I think I know what I want to do but we'll see because I think well, I have an idea so I'm like I might just do that and just roll with it 
Uh, and then I also started coloring pencil-wise with my fire dragon, so I got his pencil done. That does not help. So his pencil's done, so I just gotta outline him, and then I started his pencil, so I got the flames done, and then I got this part done. Because you can definitely tell there's a difference between how dark and what it is between the markers and pencils. So I gotta work on this. I have some other little drawings I need to do. Eventually when I get done with this, um, but there's also been nowhere in the apartment yet. So if anything, if I don't hear back today, I'll probably have to call tomorrow or something and see how that's going. Because I'm like, if I can get this apartment, I'm going to open up a store. Like a little one. Because I have an idea of how I want to do it. I just haven't gotten there yet. Because, but even if I don't get the apartment, either way, I'll open it up. I'm just kind of waiting to see if I'm moving first before I sit there and do all that. Because I know that they have to have the address. So that's why I'm like, I'm like, let me wait. If I don't get it, I'm going to do it anyway because I'm at my parents' house. So it's not like it's that much of a problem. But, you know, so we'll see. So I'm kind of hoping I get it though because it'd be really nice if I did. But we'll see. So probably next vlog I'll have an update on something. Hopefully I'll have the little dragons finished. The nightmare finished. All that good stuff. I mean, it'll be finished by the time you see the next one. But I'm hoping to have that done and maybe start some new designs in the comic page. That's what I'm really hoping for. <laughs> so we'll see. But that'll be it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. And if you want to check out more, I do other drawings and everything. I have a bunch of different playlists of like comics and other drawings I've done and stuff of my characters. If you're interested. And I also started doing these now. They're not super exciting yet. But I'm hoping that once I can eventually open up the store... Well, then hopefully the next few weeks, it'll be a lot more better. So we'll see. But if you're interested and you just want to follow along in the journey, please do so. If not, thank you for watching either way. And I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>